In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. May the peace of Jesus be with all of us. My brothers and sisters, we continue the reading of the Bible. That is also necessary to us to know what is written in the Bible. Many of us are always busy, busy with the work, with this world, which is making us so, so busy, looking for what to eat, for what to do, for what to gain. We look for many, many things. But whatever happens, wherever we are, whatever we are doing, if we don't remember our creator, means everything will be turned to zero. Brothers and sisters, let us turn to the standing, the pillar of life, who is our creator. So with him, we have everything in its time. May God bless you, my dear friends. I'm Marie-Louise Umumararungu. Brothers and sisters, today we are going to continue in the first book of Samuel. We are now on uh, chapter 6, the return of the covenant books. After the Lord, these covenant books had been in Philistia for seven months. The people called the priests and the magicians and asked, what shall we do with the covenant box of the Lord? If we send it to if we send it back where it belongs, what shall we send with it? They answered if you return the covenant box of the God of Israel, you must of course send with it a gift to him to pay for your sin. The covenant box must not go back without a gift. In this way, you will be healed and you will find out why he, he has kept on punishing you. What gift shall we send him? The people asked. They answered, five gold models of timbers and the five golden maize on one of each for for each Philistine king. The same Prague was sent on all of you and one and on the five kings. You must make these models of the tumors and of the maize that are revenging your country and you must give honor to the God of Israel. Perhaps he will stop punishing you, your gods, and your land. Why should you be stubborn as the king of Egypt and the Egyptian were? Don't forget how God made full of them until they, they let them until they let the Israelites leave the Egypt. So prepare a new wagon and two cows that have never been yoked. Hooked them to the wagon 
and drive their curves back to the to the barn. Take the Lord's covenant box, put it on the wagon, and place in a box beside it the gold models that you are sending to him as a gift to pay for your sins. Start the wagon in its way and let it go by itself. Then watch it go. If it goes towards the town of Beth, Beth Shemesh, this means that it is the goddess of Israel who has sent this terrible disaster on us. But if it doesn't, then we will know that he did it. He did not send the prog. It was only a matter of chance. They did what they were told. They took two cows and hitched them to the wagon, and shot and shoot the curves on the barn. They put the covenant box in the wagon together with the box containing the gold models of the maize and of the timorous. The cows started off on the road to Beth Shemesh and headed straight toward it without turning off the road. They were mooing as they went. The, f- the five Philistine kings followed them as far as the border of the Beth Shemesh. The people of Beth Shemesh were harvesting wheat in the valley when suddenly they looked up and saw the covenant books. They were overjoyed and overjoyed at the sight. The wagon came to a field belongs to a man named Joshua, who lived in Beth Shemesh, and it stopped there near a ridge rock. The people chopped, chopped up the wooden, wooden wagon and carried the cow and offered them as a burnt sacrifice to the Lord. The, Levi, the Levites lifted lifted half of the covenant box of the Lord and the box with the gold models in it and placed them on the ridge rock. Then the people of Beth Shemesh, Shemesh offered the bond sacrifices and the other sacrifices to the Lord. The five Philistine kings watched them do this and went and and then went back to Akron that same day. The Philistines sent the five gold tumors to the Lord as a gift to pay for their sins, one each for the city of Ashdod, Gaza, Ashkelon, Gath, and Ekron. They also sent a gold maize, one for each of the cities ruled by the five Philistine kings, both the fourth fortified towns and the village, villages with it, without walls. Rejorok in the field of Joshua of Beth Shemesh, on which they placed the Lord's covenant, is still there as as a witness to what happened. The Lord killed the seventy of men of Beth Shemesh because they looked inside the covenant box. And the people mourned because the Lord has caused such a great slaughter among them. The covenant box at Kiria Jiriam Jiriam Jirim. So the men of Beth Shemesh said, Who can stand before the Lord? 
this holy God, where we can send him to get him away from us. They sent messengers to the people of Kiriath, Jerim, to say, Philistines have returned the box, the Lord's covenant box, come down and fetch it. So the people of Kiriath Jerim fetched the Lord's covenant box and took it to the house of a man named Abinadab, who lived on a hill, who lived on a hill. They consecrated his son Eleazar to be in charge of it. The word of God. My brothers and sisters, if God comes back to us, means he wants us to change our mindset. He left us for a while. He comes back because he wants us to be his children. He's committed. Brothers and sisters, this is what we have to learn from this lesson today. He have left us and the time he left us for us we we were wondering that he has left us because he is not happy with us yes of course but where he went he didn't see it he were there to fight for us hallelujah brothers and sisters he were there to fight for us and he was he was fighting even for what we cannot know how to fight it and how to fight them he did he went there and he did all was needed brothers and sisters we have to thank him hallelujah when he went to philistines he didn't go for sitting, for being worshipped, no. He went to fight them in behalf of Israel. Because he is the Almighty God and he has promised to the Israelites to not leave them. This is his promise. We have to know, even though God is like left us don't us don't uh, be discouraged rather keep strong because god will come and will rescue us may god bless you my dear friends in the name of the father the son and the holy spirit amen mm-hmm.